first guys today i'm going to show you uh, how to replace a mercedes cli 250 this applies to to a uh, gla 252 cli 45 it applies to all those models so guys begin by just opening the hood then removing this uh cover the top cover right here make sure you get all the way put it in a nice place and then when you come back here guys uh, we really have a lot of plastic so i'll just advise you guys just take your time don't be in a rush for anything don't break anything just just go through the video entirely and then you'll find out everything so all right guys we remove this computer these are connectors you pull this one back you take this one guys you just take it forward like that and then it just comes out and then guys there's a clip inside there which locks it uh, or locks it to the air filter thing you take that one out once that's done guys i'm going to remove this uh, air filter from right here i already seen this a uh, broken part right here guys so i'm not going to remove it entirely so this part was really damaged the uh the spiral plastic one and then guys uh i'm going to just take out this uh connection from here and then i'm going to take out the air filter so i have to take the four uh tox uh 25 from uh, the four corners and then guys i'm gonna loosen this clamp this is a clamp guys uh, going with the air duct going with the engine so i'm just loosening it up and then i'll just pull it from here let's take it guys uh, pull it gently once that's out of the way guys we have the air filter right here it has uh, three clips so these clips like go like in the hook so guys you have to uh, disconnect this guy right here so that guys uh, it will give us space later on when we're working on the car when you're working on this other parts in the car so once that's done guys i uh, will pull out this air filter you just take your time it's a bit like uh, stuck in just take your time pull it slowly don't break anything the last one just comes out you put it on the side Alright guys, uh, what we're going to do next guys, uh, we're going to uh, disconnect uh, the air duct uh, which, which uh, goes uh, like from the intake thing right here. So you have like uh, use a screwdriver and then like uh, pry, the, uh, pry the connectors out and then you pull it down and then this thing should be able just to uh, let it out, just come out like that. So once that is done guys uh, when you look down like uh, deep inside here we have a Tox 12 so it's holding down right there it's holding the plastic so guys I'm just opening it right now it's just right here the camera guys did not capture uh, very well where uh, the uh, when I'm doing it so I'll just show you in a moment when the ball is out so guys this is the ball I just pull it out from uh, right there holding the plastic going to the uh, intake and once that is done guys we begin the work of uh, disconnecting uh, these small uh, connectors so we begin by this one uh, going uh, into the uh, into the car right there in the brake and then I uh, will take that one out and then guys we take uh, we put aside uh, our connection this connector thing and we disconnect these uh, horses uh, these uh, connectors going to the uh, the intake the intake manifold from this side we disconnect the throttle body just right from here we disconnect this one guys going to the intake and back to the engine it's like a plastic thing this this uh, tricky thing guys is a plastic thing like right here you just use like a uh, flat and you just push on the side and then you can pull it out it just comes right away all right guys i will come on top of the engine so i'll just walk you guys through uh, the steps just uh, watch and just uh, pay attention to everything i'm going to do so i have to disconnect this right here there's a there's an air hose
this coming from right there. Now, so we don't need to remove this thing entirely because uh, we don't need to take out the intake, so we we'll just leave it right there and then we we'll just disconnect all these connectors going in the intake. So, uh, we we'll start with this one, guys, on the corner right here. We we'll just uh, use a flat, and then we we'll just like pull it back and then we we'll disconnect. And then there's a clip, guys, holding to the intake. You just use something to just unclip it. And then there's this one, guys, coming to the side here. And guys there's a clip here guys with this thing uh, goes into i'll just show you in a moment how to take it out so guys uh we have to take this guy out from here just you just do it gently just pull it out and then disconnect the connector because this thing guys is going to block us from moving away the intake so you just like pull it back from behind and put it on the side same applies to this uh this uh, air thing too guys uh we have to just disconnect like that and put it on the side too you just pull like away from the index so when we're working on the index guys we have enough space guys there's uh there's a hose here on the corner it's like a vacuum hose so uh there's an like, auxiliary air hose just right here you just plug it from the side once that comes out guys you can put it on the side because it's going to be uh, coming out with these uh, connections and connectors right here just to show you in a moment so use like a um, number 10 millimeter guys to open one section of this uh, right here and once you get it out then you can pull this out of the way to have enough access to the intake guys i'll just add you guys like just take your time take your time there's too many plastics here guys i already made several mistakes but i don't want anybody to have to do the same so just take your time just do it slowly at the end of the day guys you'll have like a nice clean job but guys i'm just taking out these connectors these uh, electrical connectors is out of the way and all these horses are tied to it Guys, you to, to unclip it guys you pull it back you just bend it like slightly and then pull it back there's a clip right there and then this thing is going to come out like that guys so once that is out we have to take out the uh the part which has a 10 millimeter guys remember it's, it's gonna like be tricky to get it out but just take your time just do it slowly because that's a little process don't break anything on the process guys are saying earlier you just leave it there it's going to be uh, staying with the intake manifold so guys we have our tox uh tox uh 12 so we're gonna open them just with the ratchet first for using the power tool so we just break them those so guys don't break anything in the process of it. just like uh, open them up guys i'm using like a flex tool because uh, i find sometimes there's some parts of this uh the balls where a straight tool may not like really fit into but guys it can fit if you just like take your time all right guys once that's done you can use a power tool just like take them out so quick And will make your work more easier Just 
so you take your time guys that's, that's gonna like come out eventually just take your time Alright guys, is a, is a 12 uh, millimeter, 12 E12, is an E12, so you just like get it out of the way. So once that is out guys, uh, we have to uh, yank it back, we have to just get it back before you open the travel uh, body and then get it out of the way. So we just like yank it back guys, we just pull it slowly, just like that, and then it will just come out. As long as if everything is, is there's nothing holding into it, just make sure you check. There's nothing like there's no bolt like holding it back. You just yank it, and then that thing will just open right up. It just come out. So you can use this other side where you already open to give you leverage, just like that. It just pops out. And then guys, when it pops out, and then you have enough space uh, to your right, right there where the. Uh, the throttle body is so it's, it, it gives you like enough space then you can take out the four balls is a, a 25 just right here you take them out you have enough space to get them out and then be careful guys once the, uh, this plastic comes out the throttle body is not holding the throttle body so just make sure you just hold them together So when the throttle body comes like that, you just uh, take it slowly and then you put it on the side. Once this thing is out, that will be right. So uh, what we do next guys is uh, we have enough space guys to push this uh, thing back with this intake manifold. But be careful guys, there's something holding from below and that's like, uh, I'll show you in a moment. If you yank it too hard, you might end up breaking, you might end up breaking. So it's good like uh, disconnect, this right here, we disconnect from the intake. Just take it to the side and then once that comes out guys the end comes loose then you can push it back then you can see uh, our thermos right here so uh, what remains is just to disconnect the connections and then like one clip it so guys uh the first thing to do first is uh, disconnect it and then once you disconnect these uh connections and then you can uh you can uh, open uh, the two balls holding it to the back so uh the two balls holding to the back guys and then one of these things hold going to the uh oil filter you just disconnect from the top you don't need to disconnect from the bottom so you can use a, a power tool or something once you uh, make sure you just let them loose and then you can just open it out then you get the two balls out once that is out guys i know that some uh, you just push it to the side you just uh like pry it slowly and then it comes out and once it comes out guys uh, you can open the remaining kind of clips that you can't reach it when it's right on top right here so guys uh, uh, of the uh, thermostat is out so guys uh, it's out right here but you see the front part is broken so we have to like check inside the car and then take out the excess part and also compare the two for guys to make sure you don't put part the wrong part so that's when you look back right here is the thermostat hole so you make sure you clean it up and then you take out any debris from the older part so you let it like uh slide in smoothly and doesn't give you problems when putting it back so guys this is the one uh the top uh horse i was saying just leave it on top so guys, uh, in summary, uh, that's the, the whole process is. So I'm just going to take you like in summary. So you remove everything just here in front. 
you disconnect uh, this uh, intake hose right here and then you open a 12 millimeter E12 is an E12 not a 12 millimeter guys it's E12 and then you open the other part of the uh, throttle body and then you push to the side the intake manifold and then once that is done guys you disconnect a few uh, horses which you can see from the top once you don't see you open the uh, thermostat then you can disconnect it when the thermostat is out and you can push all your stuff right in the side guys and then uh, you make sure guys you don't break any holes in the process so just take your time if there's something restricting you you can just open them up and then guys uh, you should be able to do this work just clean without any problems so guys uh, i hope that this really helps you out just make sure guys uh, you take your time you can redo the video to make sure you've understood it well before you begin the work because it really make your work easier I've been online and never seen like a lot of videos which helped me that much but with whatever I got guys that's what I'm, I'm made here to be able to be friendly. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Nice